The island of Negros accounts for the majority, about 55% of the domestic sugar production of the country with thousands of hectares devoted to sugar cane plantations. Or throughout the Philippines, Negros, Occident, Negros Island region has the biggest number of sugar black farms. We have 40, 41 sugar black farms uh, region-wide. So far, the sugar black farms approach coupled with the assistance from Land Bank of the Philippines through the APCP has contributed so much in the success of the implementation of uh, sugar block farms. Sugar block farming paved the way for small farmers to take advantage of plantation scale production and enjoy the benefits of economies of scale. If uh, we have to look at the situation of sugar farming, it needs a big area. To, to produce big harvest. So because of this strategy, we have uh, developed a sugar black farms and uh, focuses on providing support services. In the implementation of the delivery of new farm support services to the farmers, DAR and IR felt the need to get professional service providers. When do we have to course attack the services of the professional service providers one is we don't have the uh, technicalities or we don't have the expertise along that line second is we're running out of the staff to work on uh, for the sugar block farm and basically the sugar block farm we are really implementing the technology being developed by the sugar reg regulatory uh, administration and there are two major components in terms of our implementation one is the establishment of the Techno Demo Farm, and this will showcase in terms of the implementation of the program. And uh, of course, the other one is the establishment of the nursery. One of the service providers tasked to undertake the farm support services contract for the NIR Sugar Block Farm project is the Foundation for Rural Enterprise and Ecology Development of Mindanao, Freedom Incorporated. Freedom was awarded 8 of the 12 lots. The 8 lots cover 28 arbos including 1,530 farmers. Freedom Incorporated is tasked to establish 102 techno demo farms and high-yielding variety nurseries. The challenges that the project presents were as follows. Reduce the cost of production to 900 pesos per LKG, but at the same time increase the sugarcane yield by 20%. Freedom also aims to get the nurseries to produce not less than 25 laksas. Reduce the acidity of farm soil and in turn, increase the rate of organic matter in farm soil. And Freedom ultimately aims to make the farmers less dependent on chemical fertilizers. The project manager, Mr. Winston A. Gillian, laid down the groundwork for the implementation of the project after the notice to proceed was issued on January 16, 2017. 51 agri-techs, including eight team leaders, were hired and trained to equip them with the skills and knowledge in delivering the project in the next 12 months. Freedom Incorporated addressed the project's challenges in several ways. The farmers were trained on the new approaches and proper techniques in sugarcane production. Freedom introduced irrigation in the land preparation for the techno demo farms and nurseries. A new furrow spacing was implemented, allowing 96 furrows for a 100 meter by 100 meter farm area. Freedom introduced many farming approaches, including the proper way of monitoring plant germination and growth of sugar canes. The most important intervention is the application of an inoculant, which is a special strain of beneficial microorganism harnessed to allow optimum absorption of soil nutrients to young, growing sugar canes. We must adopt technologies that will increase production and decrease cost immediately, using methods that will lead to sustainability. Now, 
This may seem impossible since most, if not all, Philippine soils are depleted and in need of rehabilitation. The Chembrake system immediately reduces the recommended dose of chemical-based fertilizers by 50%. The Chembrake system also immediately increases the yield by 60 to 70%. The Chembrake system attempts to copy the physical, chemical, and more importantly, the microbial components of the soil ecosystem in the rainforest, which are responsible for rapid and luxuriant growth of plants. Now, six months into the project, the demonstration farms and nurseries are showing phenomenal growth as compared to those grown by farmers. Sa ako nakita, uh, magluwas nga uh, maayo ang teknolohiya nga ginhatag sang dar sa kooperatiba. Uh, minus ma maka minus gastos kag uh, minus gastos kag bayo ang kita sang sang situation sang tubo. Ano kita mo sa video among pala pa man sang pagtanaw mo sa video do lakalaka kun sa subo ang paglantaw ko lang. Do la kare ko ba man among iriani. So, okay, 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 Siguro binalantaw ra mo nga ina nga mga area sa to sa hindi pagit mano to on sa wala pagit mano ina ma Tilawan sa God sa ngamos na nagdalaga ng ina sa singwintas sinta per hectare. Sa subong uro madlaga ni sinta to 100 per tars sa roastimet. The initial results of the innovations introduced by Freedom Incorporated is short of being amazing and this shows great promise towards the fulfillment if not surpass the goals and objectives this project hopes to attain. In the next six months, as more results unfold, it is becoming clear that our farmers will have a better reason to beam that sweet smile for a long time.